very good morning to all my dear students today sun maris school nagina brought for you icc map study in geography for 10th class icc we have outline map of india in which 10 different points will be coming for 10 marks and today we will be studying the indus river system we have to go through all the physical features which are coming for this river so that we can fill all the points related to the physical feature of indus river system let's go through the video and understand it the indus river system in this module you will learn about the indus river system as one of the major river systems formed by the himalayan rivers a river together with its tributaries is termed as a river system the indus the ganga and the brahmaputra are three major himalayan rivers which are long and are joined by many large and important tributaries let us first learn about the indus river system river indus is known as river sindhu in india and is described as king river in ancient indian poetry before the partition of india and pakistan river indus was so important to india that the indian subcontinent was named after it the origin of river indus is in the vicinity of lake mansarovar in tiptan plateau north of himalayas first it flows through tibet towards west later on through the ladakh district of jammu and kashmir it enters india it forms a picturesque gorge 4500 to 5200 meters high near nanga parbat the indus river system is mainly fed by the melting snow and glaciers of the himalayas the karkaram and hindukush ranges several tributaries the zaskar the nubra the shyok and the hunza confluence with the indus in the kashmir region the indus has an estimated annual flow of 207 cubic kilometers emerging from the kashmir region river indus flows in a northwesterly direction to reach the baltistan and then to the gilgit region finally it emerges from the himalayan mountains at a top the satluj the bayas the ravi the shenar and the jhelum join together to merge with the indus near mithan coast in pakistan river indus together with its tributaries becomes the source of one of the world's largest irrigation systems bakra dam one of the world's highest dams is built across the satluj river river indus travels west and southwestward roughly about 2900 kilometers to reach the arabian sea east of karachi it is one of world's longest rivers emptying into arabian sea through several mouths it creates a wide delta in that region the indus plain has a very gentle slope Do you have any idea about the area of the drainage basin of this river system? It has a total area of 11,65,000 square kilometers. More than one third of the Indus basin is located in India in the states of Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, and the Punjab. And the rest is in Pakistan. Did you know that river Indus is called an exotic river? Indus flows mainly through Pakistan but does not receive much water from there that is why it is known as an exotic river in 1960 india and pakistan signed the indus water treaty to solve the problems regarding the use of the water of river indus according to this agreement india can use only 20% of the total water carried by the indus river system in this module you have learned the following the major himalayan rivers are the indus 
the Ganga and the Brahmaputra. The origin of River Indus is in the vicinity of Lake Mansarovar in Tipton Plateau, north of Himalayas. Through the Ladakh district of Jammu and Kashmir, it enters India. The Zaskar, the Nubra, the Shayok, and the Hunza are some of its major tributaries, joining it in the Kashmir region. The river Indus flows through Baltistan and Gilgit and emerges from the mountains at Atok. The Satlaj, the Vyas, the Ravi, the Shenab, and the Jhelum join together to enter the Indus near Mithankot in Pakistan. River Indus travels west and southwestward roughly about 2900 kilometers to reach the Arabian Sea east of Karachi. The Indus plain has a very gentle slope. It has a total area of 11,65,000 square kilometers. More than one third of the Indus Basin is located in India in the states of Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh and the Punjab, and the rest is in Pakistan. Indus is called an exotic river. In 1960, the Indus Water Treaty was signed by India and Pakistan. So dear students, like this we have completed more than 50% syllabus of filling outline map of India. Now seriously you have to do homework. There are some outline maps given in your book as well as in your workbook or what we can say your map study book. So you have to deal with them or if possible bring outline maps of India and fill them all these five parts related to these five parts whatever points you are able to fill fill them carefully and submit when the school reopen wish you all the best and have a bright future